Okay, very good evening to everyone. I'm just putting in these notes on Facebook. Apologies to keep me writing. There we go. Good stuff. Alrighty, well, I want to start off by saying a big thank you to everyone for the feedback that's been coming through. So a couple of things. Uh, people have asked me if it would be easier to find the link to get to this. And unfortunately, that has been complicated because uh, I've set it up as an event, so it will happen week after week after week after week. And Facebook send me a new link every week, so I have to put on a new link. So today I came up with the idea, I was ruminating over it, and what I'm now going to do from now on is get you to go to my website, engagewithsuccess.com. I've set up a page, forward slash my mind matters, and it just be the same link. So from this point forward, no matter what week it is, always the same link. It will take you through to my website, and then there's two buttons, Facebook Live or Instagram Live. So that should make it a lot easier for everyone. So even though the link will change every week, you won't know the difference. I'll be doing the changes. I'll update it and make sure that it's all correct. Another piece of feedback that I got was, could I get a microphone? So instead of talking into the microphone that's on the phone or on the laptop, I'm, I, I have actually already ordered it. It should be in the next few days. So I've got a little boom stand coming. I didn't think I'd need one, but apparently people said the sound isn't that great. So if I've got a microphone right here, or right here in front of me, then that should improve the sound quality too. But that feedback is brilliant. I really do appreciate it. This is a new project. Uh, it's all about helping people find an hour of calmness, uh, happiness, joy, well-being, at least one hour every week. Now, I will just go over some of the basics that I have done the last what, two weeks. It's only our third session. And that's just remind you of the context of all of this, so you've got some idea why we do it and what you can do to make things better for yourself. Ultimately, this is about mastering your mind. This is about mindfulness, meditation, and by calming the mind, you can find that you're more motivated. And if you're into manifestation, creating the life of your dreams, that's really what this is all about for me it's about manifesting and controlling my mind so i can create the life that i want and over the last well, 13 years especially it's been very very powerful but this is the type of thing that i've been delving into and experimenting with and playing with for the last 30 more more than 30 years now so it is something that's ongoing and i will always encourage you to do your own homework but there are three steps we're going to cover today and see what, find, what, what, what works for you, what's most helpful for you. And then maybe do a bit of research on it. Jump on YouTube, jump on Google. Uh, there are lots and lots of other websites. But my idea here is that we get the opportunity to spend an hour together every week. I call it M7, so that you know it's Mondays at 7. And my mind matters because it's about matters of the mind. And that really is calming it down, helping you to feel confident in yourself, feeling relaxed about your own life, and having the opportunity just to take a breather from all the go, 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 go that we tend to get in life. It can be very, very busy out there. So, let's take a moment right now to talk about the three segments that we'll go through this evening and that we've done for each of the weeks. So the first one is breathing. And then after that, once we've done a little bit of breathing, which is very straightforward, I'm a big fan of it because it can help you immediately calm down if you're stressed out at work, something of that nature. And it's something you can do anywhere. You could do it at home, you could do it at work, you could do it when you're out and about. Anytime that you feel overwhelmed or panicked or anxious or nervous, this is a great way to go. But of course, breathing is an integral part of life. I'm sure if you're a doc or you study medicine at all, I don't think you even need to study medicine to know that if you stop breathing, it's game over. If you stop breathing, you're not going to have any fun whatsoever because you're basically going to die, right? So breathing is an integral part of our lives. But that breathing can help with so many other things. We're told exercise is good for us, and that's because that makes our lungs work so much harder. And by doing that, we're strengthening some of those muscles like the heart, like the lungs. And it's really, really important for all of us to be able to do that. And so exercise is another great way to go. Tonight, our second segment will be on mindfulness. And I'm going to take you through a little detox this evening, how you can really calm down the mind and even massage your, own, your, your, your forehead and your scalp just to feel really good about yourself. 
and then finally we'll take a deep dive on meditation and I like to set up the idea that meditation most of us come to it thinking oh meditation I don't know if I can do it you don't try to do anything the moment you try to do something is the moment that that will probably be going wrong that's that's the moment that you're going to be pulled out of what can be a really wonderful experience so the whole point of this is that you just chill and see where it goes and each time you do it think of it as layering it up and layering it up and layering it out each time you do it things will get better and better and better so that's really what this is all about giving you an opportunity to improve your game and find out what works best for you okay let's start with our first one then let's go on to breathing and for the breathing all you need to do is get comfortable in your chair on the sofa the armchair wherever you may be dining room chair could work maybe you're even sitting in bed or laying in bed take the opportunity to close your eyes take a nice deep breath in through the nose hold on for it hold on to it for a moment and then let, let it out through the mouth I want you to feel very comfortable at home knowing that I cannot see you. I want you to feel very comfortable at home knowing that I cannot hear you. And it's really, really important. So if you're asking, oh, are we going to hear you? Are we gonna... All those preconceptions, all those ideas, all those fears that you might have, drop them. I can't see you. That's why I use Facebook Live and Instagram Live, because it's a one-way journey. So I can see people that are hopping on and off. I can receive your questions. So if there's anything you'd like to ask, feel free to do that. But otherwise, um, I won't have the opportunity to hear you or see you, which is great news. It means you can really relax and enjoy yourself. And by the way, if you do get any questions at any point during the presentation, then feel free just to ask or type it up, put it into the, uh, what they call it, comments box, and I will be looking out for it. Okay, here we go. Eyes closed sitting comfortably nice deep breath in through the nose hold on to it for a moment and let it out through the mouth nice deep breath in through the nose hold on to it for a moment and let it out through the mouth Keeping your eyes closed, I'm just going to share with you some of the reasons why breathing is so good for us. And again, I know that if we don't breathe, it's game over. But there are a lot of other benefits that we don't really think about. And I think it is one of the most important parts of our lives that most of us take for granted. For example, you take a breath around 20 to 22,000 times every day. That's a lot of breaths. And the beauty of it is that as you're breathing in and out, you're actually automatically in detox. Feel free to check all this out afterwards. Go online, read about it. Um, I, I did get, somebody asked me if I can write a document with some of the things that we do, and that is something I do plan to do. So there will be free downloads coming as the weeks go by. So I, this is probably a good one to write some ideas down for. But ultimately, as you breathe in and out, you are detoxing and cleansing your body. In fact, it's believed that up to 70% of the detoxification is through your breathing. Of course, there are other things too, when you wee, when you go to the bathroom, and number two, uh, when you're running, you're sweating, when you get hot and you're sweating, when you're doing the housework and you're sweating. These are all ways that we are detoxing the body. And so it isn't just our lungs that help us to detox, which almost people know it's liver, kidney, the skin, largest organ of the entire body, is helping us to detox. But 70% is believed to be through your breathing. So I'm going to change the breathing technique slightly tonight because we've been doing equal amounts in and equal amounts out. In fact, we've been doing equal amounts in, holding on to it and letting it out for the same amount. So for example, four beats in, hold on to it for four and let it out for four. Tonight we're going to change that because I want to give you as many different experiences as, as I can over the coming weeks, months and years. So this time let's breathe in for three. I'm going to get you to hold it just for one beat and then breathe out for six. So we'll breathe out slowly for twice as long. 
And I also want you to imagine as you're doing that, the detoxification program. So as you breathe in, imagine that bringing in clean air, fresh air, healthy air. And then as you breathe out, imagine it being almost like a fog, maybe a, a, a gray color, misty color, dirty color, and that's the carbon dioxide coming out. So are you ready? Let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose for one, two, three. Hold on to it for one beat and let it out for one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go for four on beat and then eight. In through the nose for one, two, three, four. Hold on to it for a beat and let it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do another one on the four, and then after that we're gonna to go to a five, and then we'll take a break. Just imagine, try to visualize the clean air coming in and the dirty air going out. Here we go, in through the nose for one, two, three, four, Hold on to it for a beat and let it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for the last time, in through the nose for one, two, three, four, five. Hold on to it for a beat and let it out slowly for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keeping your eyes closed and remaining in a very comfortable position. If you're not sure what to do with your hands, generally there's places on your lap, put them on your lap or on your knees. And just continue breathing at your own rate. I'll be quiet for a moment and give you an opportunity to imagine the clean air coming in, and the used air, the dirty air, the pollution, if you will, coming out. You can also think of this as love coming in and negativity coming out. So all the goodness that you're breathing in and all the negativity, the anxiety, the nervous energy you've got coming in. Do that at your own pace. I'll just leave the music playing for a moment. now on to our next part which is all about mindfulness really calming down the mind being chilled out relaxed and enjoying ourselves so let's take the opportunity right now keeping our eyes closed just to take those breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth feeling that good energy coming in and use the negative energy going out I want you to imagine a ball of light just in front of your eyes. And that ball of light's like a miniature sunshine. And it's spinning around like a little orbit just in front of you. And try to imagine that as best you can because imagination is a very important part of what we do. It's a very important part of your life. This helps you create your future by using your imagination. So take a moment to really see that ball of light as if you could almost reach out and touch it. Now imagine rays of light coming off of that little ball and creating pools of light over the wells of your eyes. Little pools of light filling up gently. And you can feel the warmth from that light. It's very relaxing. It's almost like a red hot 
flannel over your face. You're then dipped in flannel in hot water. And then you lay it across your eyes. It's very calming, very relaxing. Imagine that light now just soothing you, bathing you, helping your eyes to relax. Now take that energy up from the bridge of the nose up into the forehead. Continuing up now over the crown of the head. Now feel that light almost massaging your scalp. Very relaxing. Very enjoyable. And now as it makes its way down the back of your head, feel it making its way to the back of your neck. Massaging, soothing, relaxing. Feel it squeezing your neck, almost like someone's hand is there, just squeezing you, massaging you, helping any negativity you've got to relax. Let your shoulders drop, shake them out if you need to. Now feel that energy, that light, making its way down your right arm, just the right arm at this point, from the shoulders, over the biceps, the triceps, into the elbow, down through the forearm, into the wrist. Now in your imagination, imagine that ball of light going around your wrist. And if you do feel any aches or pains there, rheumatism, arthritis, anything of that nature, just imagine it relieving any negativity you might have. Now continuing down into the hand, into the palm. Now feel the beams of light coming out through your thumb and then your four fingers. And now your right hand is beams of light, thriving. Beams of light coming out of your right hand. Now we take ourselves down from the left side, the left shoulder, over the biceps, the triceps, down towards the elbow. And from the elbow over the forearm, down towards the wrist. Again, imagine that light making its way around the wrist, rotating around, soothing, relaxing, loving. Now going into the hand, into the palm of the hand, and a beam of light now coming out through the thumb, and then through each of your four fingers. And now both hands, five beams of light coming out of each hand. Take your focus back to the shoulders. We're going to continue our journey now down over the front of the body, down over your chest area, onto the torso, onto the belly. Maybe you've got a six pack, maybe like me and you've got a keg. Make your way down over that area, relaxing, calming, chilling, soothing. Feels so good. Our way down the spine. This one is really good as we make our way down vertebra by vertebra, bone by bone. Almost feel the masseuse working away on each of those bones. If you've got any knots, just allow them to be released, allow them to go. And use your imagination to massage your way down your spine, down through that column, vertebra after vertebra. down towards the tail end of the spine. That's feeling so good. And now that light is all over the head, the neck, the shoulders, down all the way through the right arm into the fingers, down through the left arm into the fingers, and now it's the entire top part of your body, the torso and the back. Just imagine that light now swirling around your waist, relaxing you having you to chill out. Keep the breathing going, just be aware of your breathing. Now be aware of the detoxification that you're creating just by breathing. Now we continue our journey, we make that light come down through the right leg, from the top of the leg, through the buttock, into the leg, down towards the knee. 
the aches and pains in those knees, just imagine the aches, the pains being released. Working your way down through the lower part of the leg, over the shins, over the calves, into the ankle. Again, another area where lots of tension holds. Release it, just let it go. If you can feel aches, if you can feel pains, just notice them. Don't fight it, don't struggle with it, just notice it. Carry on with your journey. And now take those beams of light out through the big toe and then each of the four smaller toes. And the entire right leg is a beam of light, submerged, relaxed, bathing in that pool of light. And finally the left leg. Let's come down through the left leg, over the top of the leg, some of the biggest muscles in the body now, into the knee, relaxing that knee, removing any aches or pains that you might have. Now coming down through the leg, the shins, the calves, into the ankle. Oh, that feels good. That feels really good ball of the foot, through the arch of the foot, over the top of the foot, and now making its way into the big toe, and then the second, third, fourth, and fifth toes. Now both feet, five beams of light pouring out of them like jets of bright light, being projected out into the universe. Just luxuriate in that for a moment, just relax, and really feel the love coming off that light, soothing, relaxing, helping you to chill out, listen to that music for a moment, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. submerged in this light, feel your energy rise, feel the energy in your body pulsing through you, you're in the flow, energy coming in now all the way from the top of your head, down through the spine, through the arms, into the legs, down through to the feet, relaxing, soothing, feels amazing. through the toes, let's start with the left leg, the light coming into the left foot, drawing it back in towards the ankle, up through the leg, over the calves, the shins, into the knee, drawing it back now over the top part of the leg towards the buttock. Now the right leg, drawing these beams of light in through the toes, into the foot, over the arch of the foot, into the ankle, up over the shins, into the knee, and drawing that light back up through the leg, the biggest muscles in the body now, back towards the buttocks. And now finally we bring that light back through the torso, let's start with the back, up vertebra by vertebra, releasing it, but you still feel good, it's done its work, you've had the massage, you feel amazing as it makes its way vertebra by vertebra up through that back releasing any negative energy you may have been holding on to. Oh, that feels so good. And now through the front, up over the body, towards the chest, up over the chest, towards the neck. And now let's bring that light up through the left arm, coming in through the fingers, into the thumb, into the palm of the hand, into the wrist. Allow it just to rotate around the wrist for a moment or two, relaxing, calming, loving, energizing you, drawing it up through the forearm, in towards the elbow, up over the biceps, the triceps, 
into that left shoulder and now up into the neck area. Let's do the right hand side, drawing the light in through the fingers. It looks like claws, you're drawing that light in, in through the thumb, into the palm of the hand, into that wrist. You're benefiting from all of that beautiful energy that's shared with you. Drawing it up now through the arm, through the forearm, into the elbow, from the elbow over the biceps and the triceps in towards that shoulder. Oh boy, that feels good. From the shoulder back onto the neck. Feel the light going around the neck just for a moment. Relaxing. Feeling really chilled out. Drawing it now up through the neck area. Oh, that feels good. Up through the neck, over the back of the head, over the scalp, to the forehead, down over the nose, back to two pools of light just resting on your eyes. And now from the eyes, drawing it forward, back into that ball of light sat in front of you, that miniature sun, just sitting there rotating perfectly. Drawing all of the light away from you now. As it gets ready to depart, just take a final deep breath in through the nose. Hold on to it for a beat. And let it out slowly. One more breath in through the nose. Hold on to it for a beat. And let it out through the mouth. so good. Another ball of light set there just in front of your eyes. It's ready to depart and suddenly whoosh, disappears off into the ether. And now it's gone. When you're ready, open your eyes. So we're about halfway through the presentation this evening. We've already enjoyed breathing enjoying some mindfulness hopefully you already feel a little calmer you're feeling good hello Maureen I can see you're there on Instagram thank you for the message um, now I just want to talk a little bit about detoxing taking the opportunity to breathe whenever you can if you get the opportunity try to do at least one minute of a aware of thoughtful of conscious breathing throughout the day, at least one minute. Try to do that in the morning. It's just a matter of sitting in the chair, breathing in deeply, holding onto it for a moment, letting it out. Do that for an entire minute. Set your phone to a minute alarm if you need to. If you prefer, go two to three minutes. At least do that one minute in the morning and then another minute in the evening. Again, you can jump online, read all about this. And it'll give you the opportunity to give yourself a mini detox each day. Now, not only is it the detoxification that's important, but that breathing helps your body to feel calm. And there are many, many other benefits to that breathing. Again, I mentioned earlier, it can help you strengthen some important muscles. But it's also going to give you the opportunity to improve your posture. And it could really help you with your health. So just take the moment to be thoughtful about what you're doing. Be mindful about your breathing. Become aware of it. Just breathe in deeply and let it out. See what that can do. That's something I recommend you do for the next week before next Monday at 7. Again, that's why we call this M7. So you've got the opportunity to meet up once a week and really enjoy the session. I want to give you another example of what you could do now. Maybe at work, maybe at home if you're feeling stressed. This isn't breathing, but this is a great accompaniment to the breathing. So I want you to take your hands... Put your thumbs on your temples and bring your fingers to the middle of your forehead. Now just start to massage gently. Just massaging gently the forehead. See how that feels. Now obviously you could get a partner to do this if that's something they would like to do, but I'd like to teach you it on your own. So you've got the opportunity to do this at work kids are driving you crazy or you're stressed out about finances and you want an opportunity to relax and all you've got to do is move the skin around gently a little bit of pressure on there work away on the temples 
and let's make our way onto the head, onto the scalp itself. A little bit of pressure. You spread your fingers out if you wish. I'm sure if you all know I like this, if I use my nails, you don't have to do that. It's almost like having a brush going through your hair. back down to the forehead and a last gentle rub around the forehead down the temples cheeks chin Again, these are very simple things that you can do. You can do them when you're at home, you can do them at work. If you're feeling stressed out, if you're losing the plot, or maybe you just want a little bit of well-being for yourself, that is a great way to do it. These are all about being in the moment, about taking off the thoughts of the future, off the thoughts of the past, all the things that may have gone wrong, the things that have been winding you up. Just take a moment to chill out for yourself. Make this a moment for you. That's what it's all about. Okay, we're going to go now on to our last segment. And this is what we call So I keep getting messages. So I'm just checking all the messages as they come in. This is the part that we call meditation. Again, lots of people will have a preconception of what meditation is. Um, sometimes people think it is a very Buddhist thing. Sometimes they think that it's connected to religion. I think it's certainly a way of being spiritual, certainly a way of getting in touch with yourself. But personally, I don't hold it connected to any particular religion. This is something, it's all about you being able to connect with yourself, and being able to relax and just drop all of the nervous energy that's around you. So generally, we're using our five senses to perceive what's going on in the world. And we take that information and we translate it, and that can make us pretty crazy. So dependent on what you're feeding your mind, you will feel different. So for example, if you're watching the news and there's a lot of negative things on the news, that's gonna drive you crazy. And it's gonna put you in a negative place. Your energy can be pretty bad. But if you're able to watch maybe a comedy or you purposely read a book that makes you laugh or you watch a comedian, then that can make you feel good. And ultimately our experience here on earth is to feel good, feel as good as you can. Some people feel really good about working hard. Some people feel good going for a run. Some people feel good going for a jog, a swim, just spending time with their kids. Some people feel good just spending time with their pets. All of these are great. It's whatever makes you feel good. And that's what well-being is all about. So if you can take the opportunity to get some time out, and to enjoy time alone, just relax, that's a good way to go. Okay, let's move into the final part of tonight's program. Again, sit comfortably. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth as and when you're ready. Okay, this time we're going to do a very fast body scan. That's taking the light through the body just like we did for the mindfulness test. And then when we get to the end of that, it'll be very quick, but when we get to the end of that, we're then going to go on a much more exciting journey. So bring that ball of light back just in front of your eyes. And again, we do this over and over again because it's all about practice. The more we practice it, the better we get at it, and the faster we can relax. So 
a ball of light spinning around, pools of light now forming over your eyes. Take that light up over the top of the head and feel it coming down towards the back of the neck. Massaging, soothing, relaxing you. Down through the right arm, past the elbow, into the wrist, into the hand. Five beams of light coming out through those fingers. Down through the left hand side, through the shoulder. Into the elbow, down through the forearm, into the wrist. And now finally coming out through the left hand, through all the fingers. Chilling out, relaxing, enjoying every second of it. Now take that energy down through the back of the neck. Bring it down over the front of your body, over the torso, over the chest area, onto the belly, coming down over your stomach muscles towards the groin. And now finally from the back of the neck, down vertebra by vertebra, feeling so good. That is really relaxing. Towards the tail of your spine. And now have that energy swirling around the hips coming down through the right leg over those big muscles down towards the knee down over the leg towards the ankle into the foot and now five beams of light coming up the right side let's do the same now with the left hand bring that light down over the leg down towards the knee down over the calf the shins into the ankle into the left hand foot and now five beams of light coming out through that left you're here for just a moment listen to the sounds around you what can you hear around you is it somebody in the room that you're in or are they in another room but you can still hear the television you can still hear the ipad perhaps you can hear traffic outside passing by just listen to the sounds that you can hear for a moment sounds. Just use your imagination for a little bit and wonder what is going on. If you can hear the television, can you tell what show it is, what it's all about? If you can hear people talking, what do you think they're talking about? If you can hear an iPad, YouTube, whatever it may be, what could they be watching? Just pay attention to that for a moment. Perhaps you can hear cars outside, maybe you're near a main road what the cars might be. Can you tell if it's a sports car, an electric car? You may not even be able to hear an electric car. A diesel, petrol, a lorry. Can you tell the difference? I'll just give you a moment to pay attention to the sounds around you. So I imagine what those things might look like. Do you think you can hear people talking? Do you know who it is? Can you imagine them in your mind's eye? Or do you not know who it is? You can create a couple of characters. Are they young? Are they middle-aged? Are they older? What colour hair might they have? And this is helping you improve your imagination. And it's very important as you move into visualisation and manifestation. those cars, what colours might they be? Big car, small car, medium car, lorry, van, tractor, I don't know where you live. I can't hear the noises but you can hear. There is no right or wrong, just using your imagination.
for a moment, imagine what those things might feel like. So if you can hear a television, imagine putting your hand forward and touching it. Is it a plasma screen, LED, LCD? Is it a projector type screen? If it's somebody in the family, imagine reaching out and touching their arm. Mum, dad, brother, sister, son, daughter, family member. If you do reach out and touch someone you know and care for, imagine them putting their hand on top of your hand now. That feels good. Feel the love coming from them, from their hand into your hand. same to them, send your love to them, they can feel it, they really can feel it. And now take a moment to take your focus from the room further afield. Start to imagine your entire flat, or the building you're in, the house that you're in, about the people that are in that home or in those other buildings. Just feel connected to them for a moment. Now push even further, taking it beyond your building to the road, the roads around you, and into your local village or town or city. Pushing that energy further and further afield further and further out, you're just sharing love with all of the people in your village, your town, your city. And now from the city, go beyond that into the state, your entire county or the state you live in, being encapsulated by your love, by your positive energy. Now taking it beyond your county, your state, to the entire country. imagine oozing that positive light, that energy, that love, sending it out now way beyond your town, way beyond your county, your state, way beyond the country. And now have that energy, that light, that love, encapsulate the entire planet, all the way around it, everything, top to bottom, as if you're hugging the earth. You can feel everyone else sending their love back to you. Now bring that energy back from the entire planet, back to your country, bringing it back now to your city, and back into your building into your room, now back into your mind's eye, and whilst you're breathing gently in and out, feeling relaxed, just put a little smile on your face, feel really, really good about yourself, a smile can change everything, again, I can't see you, you won't look silly, I can't hear you, you won't sound silly, just smile, and allow that happiness, that joy, that smile to penetrate through your whole body. Stop for good. Now for a moment, I want you to think about what would be the perfect place for you to relax on a gorgeous, warm spring day. Where would you like to go? Fancy being at the beach on a nice sunny day and a cool breeze coming off of the sand. Do you prefer to be in the forest, thick with trees? Maybe there's a little setting where you can get out of the trees and be beside a river, a stream, a small body of water. You can feel the sunshine on your skin. 
perhaps you're in a meadow. There's wildlife running around. Oh, that's joyous. Or perhaps you're up a mountain. You decide. It could be the same place you went last week. I'd encourage that so you can build on it and improve your imagination. Or it could be somewhere different. It's entirely up to you. As you dream of that place, why do you love it so much? What is it that makes it a joy for you? Is it memories? Has it helped you to relax recently? Why does this feel so good? Now this is your natural state of being. This is how we're supposed to feel. Rested relaxed, inquisitive, happy. And for a moment I just want you to feel the sunshine coming down, pouring down onto you. Perhaps in the meadow and you can see the sunlight coming through the trees. Perhaps it's a forest. There's just a small break in the trees but you can feel that beam of light coming down. Maybe you're at the top of the mountain oh, and you can feel that sunshine. In fact, you're very close to that sun. You can feel it easily, effortlessly. Maybe you're at the beach. And at the beach you can hear the water crashing in on the sand. Enjoy that sunshine pouring down onto your face. That is so relaxing. Very restful, very enjoyable. Now take a moment to breathe in gently through the nose. And perhaps you can smell the country air. If you're up the mountain, how fresh is that air? If you're in the forest, what can you smell? Is it humidity? If you're in the meadows, can you smell the grass? If you're at the beach, can you smell the salty air from the sea? Breathe in. Relaxing, gently, holding on to it for a moment. Oh, that feels so good. Now you might be sitting right now, but just in your mind's eye, imagine that you're lying down. You're laying on the grass, or you're laying on the sand. You can feel Mother Earth holding you, hugging you, supporting you. gentle breeze blowing over your face, over your body, over your toes, but it's still very, very warm. Now imagine that there's some wildlife nearby. If you're at the beach, perhaps it's seagulls, and you're being inquisitive, they're coming closer and closer on the sand, or Maybe it's a crab. It's not going to harm you. It's very relaxed. It just wants to know what you're doing there. Perhaps if you're in the forest, there's some wildlife. Could be a wild boar. Could be a monkey or a gorilla. Again, very, very friendly. Just being inquisitive. You feel completely and utterly at peace with it. If you're in a meadow, it's some sheep, a little Bambi, a deer making its way over. It's not afraid of you and you're not afraid of it. And you can always, as it gets closer and closer, you hear it sniffing, it's sniffing you. It's investigating. It's not afraid. And if you're up in the mountains, perhaps it's an eagle soaring around in the sky. Just checking you out, wants to know what you're doing up here. 
into this domain, what are you doing here? And it's enjoying the company. It's enjoying seeing somebody else here that makes a big change. Now whilst you're lying there, making contact with their wildlife, feel that breeze blowing over your skin that sunshine warming you. You are so relaxed. You're so at peace. Put a smile on your face and smile at that wildlife. It's not afraid of you. You're not afraid of it. You don't do this, but just imagine reaching out to it. You don't do it, you don't want to scare it off, but Feel like you just reach out and touch it and give it a little stroke. You're feeling so connected to the world. Now just imagine that light coming down from the sunshine. You almost feel like you're getting a suntan here. This is how bright it is, how warm it is. minute look around. Notice the sky. Oh boy, it's so blue. That sky is so blue. Are there clouds in the sky or is it no clouds today? What's it like where you are? Lots of little clouds, just the one cloud gently moving in the breeze. Hold on to this place, it's yours. This is your sacred, sacred hiding place. This is your little home of peace, your oasis of peace, your little hideaway. You can go here anytime you close your eyes. Now say goodbye to it until the next time you decide to come. And as we leave that location, to bring that light back in through your toes. So start with the left foot, five beams of light coming into the foot, into the arch of the foot, the ball of the foot, into the ankle, up through the ankle, towards the knee, from the knees up through the leg, towards the base of the hips, and now the right leg, bringing those beams of light in from the right leg, the ball of the foot into the ankle up through the shins the calves towards the knee and from the knee now the energy coming up through the legs to the very top of your leg the base of your hips oh you're feeling so relaxed you don't want this to stop this feels so good you feel that light going around and around and around your hips now making its way up through the back vertebra by vertebra gently easily massaging you one by one by one by one oh that's so good until it goes to the top of the neck now bring that light up through the torso the front of the body over the belly up through that chest area up towards the neck Feel the light around your neck. Move your neck around if you need to. Just gently. A little stretch. Any aches or pains, just allow them to be released. Any tension being released. And now drawing that light up through the left hand, in through the five fingers, into the palm, into the wrist, up through the arm, into the elbow, from the elbow up into the shoulders. Same with the right hand, bring the light in now into the palm, into the wrist, up through the forearm, into the elbow, from the elbow up into the shoulder. And now imagine both your shoulders being massaged. Somebody's there squeezing, it feels so good. All the negativity falling away, dropping away, being released. 
find you massaging the neck. the head into the scalp from the scalp onto the forehead from the forehead down towards the nose until you just have two pools of light sitting over the eyes resting relaxing getting ready to go home now take those beams of light from the eyes back into the ball that miniature sunshine sitting just in front of you as it rotates and revolves ready to depart and boom as it goes so take your final deep breath in now through the nose for one two three four hold on to it for a beat and let it out for eight one two three four five six seven eight and the very last one now five for a pause and then for ten. Breathing in through the nose for one, two, three, four, five. Holding onto it for a beat and letting it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as and when you're ready, feel free to open up your eyes. How's that feel? I hope that felt great for you. Uh, thank you for being here this evening. I really appreciate it. So again, the three steps was the breathing exercises. You can do those at any time of day. I encourage you to do that just for the detox and do a little bit of research so you can really start saying this stuff's great. This stuff's really beneficial because if you just listen to me, that might be helpful, but there's a very good chance that come tomorrow you forget all about it. So why not take the opportunity to do a little bit of research Google it, jump on YouTube, see what you can find, and then join us again next Monday. That's just the breathing and the mindfulness. What do you want to do it for? Maybe maybe you want to send me a message and let me know why it works for you. Was it helping you to rest? Was it helping you to relax? Was it releasing anxiety? What was it about the mindfulness that you enjoyed? And then finally, that deeper meditation where we get nice and deep and feel very, very, very relaxed. And that can take a little bit longer. It's a little more difficult to do with other people around, but that's something you could do. So you could do breathing exercise first thing in the morning. You could do maybe mindfulness at lunchtime. And then maybe when you get home in the evening, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of meditation. And again, don't get hung up on what meditation means. Just think of it about being an opportunity for you to connect with you, or you to connect with your inner being, or you to connect with the universe. We all use different terms, we all have different spiritual feelings, and I don't want to take you down any of those because what I share with you can work and be translated into whatever it is that you believe. So I want to say a big thank you to you. Do spread the word. Again, I'm going to get a link that will be easier for everyone to follow in future. And that will be via the website. If you are new to my teachings, please feel free to go to engagewithsuccess.com. There's all sorts of free resources on there. If you hit the resources button, you'll find movies, documentaries. And there's a whole segment on mindfulness. You will find books, other teachers, all sorts of goodies that are available to you. And if you've got any feedback, any information you'd like to share with me, if you feel the music wasn't great maybe you prefer something else or maybe i should change the music for each of the segments um if there's a particular thing you'd like me to focus on let me know again if you are new to all of this the mindfulness we're going to take in lots of different areas so today we went for the massage but we will be looking at food we'll be looking at chocolate we'll be looking at music we'll be looking at um, eating there's all sorts of ways that you can encourage and incorporate mindfulness into your life Okay, I want to say a big thank you to you. We'll spot on time this week, which is great. So I'm getting better at sticking to the program. And I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. I always forget I could turn this off. <laughs> I think you tap it. Maybe you tap the live button. Maybe you don't.
You'd think I could learn that, wouldn't you? Oh dear. My daughter's going to help me turn it off. Come on, Talia. I've got faith.